Uh, g'day, I've just gotten back from being on the road. I did a speaking gig yesterday in Orange in New South Wales, which is five hours drive from here. And uh, it was really great. And at the end of it, as is what usually happens um, when I do this particular presentation, which is hold back, uh, held back or propel forward, I talk a lot about um, you know what holds me back and what actually you know, makes my heart sing and go forward, what, what holds me back mentally, what propels me forward mentally. And so it's really raw and kind of honest and a bit full on. And it often evokes a response from, from the audience, different responses, but the uniform thing that happens is that every time I deliver this particular presentation, at least one person and usually more um, come up to me after the after the gig and share something with me that, you know, is very personal to them and means something to them and and they have an emotional response often. And so I have to have a really firm boundary and kind of be prepared for that and, have, you know, not take it on too much but appreciate it and be able to, you know, give an appropriate level of comfort and attention and, and be able to, you know, manage my own emotions through that too. But the interesting thing which, which occurred to me yesterday is how many people, when they go to tell me something and it's an emotional thing for them and they start to cry or they feel like they're going to cry, I wonder if this is you too, they do two things. One, they look away or they hide their hands, hide their eyes, hide their face somehow or whatever, try to try to create a buffer between us, a physical buffer. And the second thing that almost everybody says is sorry. They're not saying, you know, um, I, I, I'm I'm sorry for what's what you've lived through. I'm, I'm, I'm not, you know, no, that's not what they're sorry for. They're saying, I'm sorry that I'm having my reaction in front of you, and it. It always kind of surprises me and makes me wonder, well, why? why? Why are you sorry for that? You, you haven't chosen to do it. It's not like you stored all that shit up just so that you could come and stand in front of me and, and you know, show me your pain. You know, I never really understand why, why people are saying sorry or what they're saying sorry for. And I really hope that I don't give off an aura that Fuck, I don't want, I don't want to see that response. I don't want to feel your pain. I don't want to feel the change in your spirit right now. It's not for me. It's for you. Fuck off. You know, it's your shit. Go and deal with it. I hope that's not, because if I was exuding that, then I can understand why someone would go, oh, fuck, sorry. But I, I feel like I have a, an appropriate level of attention and, you know, concentration that I can, that these people can see that I'm interested. You know, what's going on for them? It's just, it's just interesting that we're so conditioned to save face and to look, you know, in control and to not show any kind of instability that when we do, we are sorry for it. And, and it just, uh, I just wish it wasn't, you know, I wish, I wish that wasn't how people showed me their pain, but I wish it wasn't how we showed each other our pain either because it kind of increases the shame of it it, it bastardizes it. It, it it makes it seem you know onerous or something we should actually keep inside us we should hide that shit and i don't think that's true at all so maybe it's just something to think about whether you're somebody who when you do show someone else emotion if you immediately apologize for that perhaps just be mindful of why you're sorry and what you're sorry for um, but also be mindful of whether the other person is feeling a bit of, bit of that stuff too. You know, it's, it's your grief, it's your trauma, it's your unhappiness, it's your upset, it's your emotional reaction. You can have that. You're allowed to have that. And anybody who tells you you can't have that, or anybody who says, please don't have that in front of me, they're not for you. So yeah.